Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to share with you my process for making the perfect pre-primed canvas roll right here in the studio. The order of operations for doing this is very similar to stretching any kind of canvas. This one just happens to be big. But rather than making an actual painting canvas, we're going to set up the conditions to stretch canvas and be able to remove it. In order to do this, what I need to do is construct a set of temporary stretcher bars. I have constructed a set of one by twos that are screwed into my studio wall. In this case, the rectangle that I've made is six feet tall because my canvas roll is six feet tall. But you can make this set of rectangles any height that works for you and the materials that you're gonna use. Now is the time for actually stretching the canvas. So I will roll out and cut the length of fabric that I need and stretch it using Using lightweight staples. Before I actually prepare the surface, I will often spritz this with some water to see if there's any sagging in my stretching and make sure that all of my stretching is uniform, square, and tight. Now comes the actual preparation of this canvas. I'm using four coats of acrylic gesso on this particular piece of fabric, and I'm gonna let each one dry at least overnight, sometimes a day or two in between. While I used acrylic gesso to make this pre-primed canvas, after I mount it to a panel, I will often apply a layer or two of oil ground to it to add that extra touch of quality to the painting surface. With this process, you have the flexibility to customize the canvas exactly how you want it for your paintings. And there you have it a simple, cost-effective, high-quality way to make pre-prime canvas roll in your studio. Subscribe and share if this was valuable to you, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy painting.